Hello, Colleen. My name is Sean Everett. I am the website analysis expert at Zucor Marketing in San Antonio, Texas. Thank you so much for talking with Eric. He sent your website on to me for analysis. And uh, that's what this video is right here. And during the course of this analysis, I am going to show you how you are losing ground to these folks, your competitors at S&W Kitchens. Uh, they are taking a lion's share of the customers that you could be having from the internet. Uh, they are getting and you are not. And I am going to show you the numbers. I'm going to give you some tips how you can turn it around. And you can implement those tips today, right away, if you want. Uh, that uh, You know, this is free for the taking, if you will. So um, uh, now uh, the first thing I got to tell you is that obviously you spent money on a website. This is not like a, a something that, you, you know, somebody in the office knocked out. This is something, oh, there we go, designed by Link Now. This is a great uh, website, uh, truly. As, as a customer, I would enjoy showing up here. It's beautiful to look at. There, it's uh, visual. There are plenty of things to click. It's interactive. But the homepage itself might be a little brief. And I would also suggest that these folks know how to design a site, which is sort of like going to the body shop for your car and uh, getting it to look pretty. Uh, that's great, but mechanically it needs to work also. And that's what I am. I am a mechanic. Uh, I, so I'm not so interested in how beautiful the site is. It is beautiful. I have no qualms with that. But here's what I think the problem is. Now, I'm going to show you after I look at the site itself. I have a paid tool called Ahrefs. And uh, the reason that I have this tool is that it gives me the metrics of your site. Now, I normally don't start at this point, but you have so many zeros here. There is so much not happening to your site. It is underperforming. I'm going to show you what all of these numbers mean momentarily. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is do a good old Google search for Melbourne, Florida kitchens and baths. Uh, and the reason I do that is because Google is responsible for 96% of the traffic on the internet. Now, that is a staggering amount. I mean, if you did 96% of the kitchens and baths in Melbourne, uh, people would be knocking on your door and saying, what the heck is going on here? Um, so, uh, but that's what Google has. They have this huge monopoly on the internet. They got in early, they got in fast, and they dominated it. So they are important to the internet. Now, uh, there are ways that you can utilize Google uh, that are completely within the bounds of what's allowed. And uh, uh, it, they would expect you to, um, but you have to know how Google works. And that's what I'm going to explain to you today. Now, I'm going to explain to you in the form of uh, explaining this uh, um, results page. Um, now, uh, the first thing I need to tell you is that Google has an algorithm that does two things. It searches the internet uh, for sites and it rates those sites based upon uh, some criteria that it has in mind. And then if an, uh, the site has a criteria, it is scored and that's how it is placed in the results. So in other words, this uh, 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 company here, Hammond Kitchens and Bath, they scored really well. Uh, and they ended up at the top of this, what we call the businesses. I, for some reason, my site went, my browser went to Spanish today. So I hope you read Spanish. Um, but uh, here is what the algorithm is responsible for everything, 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 everything. And it's out on its own, doing its own thing. Um, now, uh, you, along with these other folks here, uh, did something really great and you uh, filled out a Google business profile. That is the only way to get up here. And that's sort of the first thing that the algorithm wants. The algorithm is looking for three things. Uh, and this is number one, that is filling out a profile that is uh, sort of the entree into the Google world. Now, uh, making sure that it continues to be filled out uh, uh, in the correct way, because if somebody else comes along and does a better job at filling it out, then there's a chance they could pop up here too. So uh, reviewing that is something that I would suggest, making sure that it is precise and it is fully done. Now, uh, underneath this, this is what we call the map pack area because it's attached to that map. Uh, underneath that is what we call the organic search results. Now, 
organic is organic in the sense that the algorithm doesn't require anything else from you except to have a website. It will place the uh, order of these still utilizing its its needs. And this is where number two and three come in. Uh, the second thing the algorithm is looking for is content. Now I'm going to show you, here is your website again. I'm going to copy and paste uh, your uh homepage here into this word counter. You have 636 words. I'm going to do the same for S and W. Copy and paste. 230 words. That surprises me. But uh, there are uh, there is a reason that their small word count is beating you. And that has to do with keywords. Now, uh, by the way, Google would expect you to have 1,500 words on your homepage, so you're almost halfway there. Uh, I would suggest getting your word count up because then it would be sort of more an automatic for Google to uh, uh, consider you uh, worthy enough to be in their precious search results. So um, now uh, words are not equal at Google, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're talking about keywords. Now you have zero keywords. Uh, keywords are where your uh, site uh, uh, has words that are to do with your industry. And Google takes these words from your and your competitors' websites. And these words are like little key phrases. And it finds these, it finds what phrases are the most common amongst all of these uh, sites. And then it ranks them based upon uh, you know how much one appears most and then second most and third most and so on. So uh, you have zero keywords and S&W has 1,300. Now I'm going to show you what they are because if they're good enough for them, they're good enough for you. Um, now S&W kitchens we can ignore because that's people searching for a place they already know the name to. But uh, Blue Kitchen Island, uh, you know, that has a lot of volume actually. Um, Bamboo Flooring pros and cons. Uh, a lot of questions about bamboo. Let's see, what else? Boy, bamboo shows up a lot. And you know what? I, uh, my my home is uh, in uh, near Orlando, so maybe I should be taking note of <laughs> bamboo flooring <laughs> now that I see that. Um, uh, kitchen with Blue Island. So it's all about blue and bamboo right now, at least on this page. But there are another 38 pages of keywords. And like I said, if they're good enough for you, then they are good enough for them. Now, you will also notice that there are a lot of uh, other cities involved. Now, that is the other aspect of, of these keywords, that they do encounter uh, the cities that you serve, the cities that you are, uh, you know, you send the trucks into to do the work. Uh, and it, it could be a county, it could be a city, it could be a neighborhood. People are proud of where they live. So being able to log in and type in their neighborhood and say, you know, how do I get a new kitchen in blah, 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 uh, then that is what would bet be best to appease them when it comes up. Now, uh, after the keywords, the next thing I need to show you is the uh, referring domains, the backlinks. A backlink is where your site appears on somebody else's site, and there is a link back to your site on it. So like uh, yellowpages.com or Yelp. I'm going to just see if I can really quickly look at what your um, three referring domains are, because maybe they will ring a bell. Uh, it's likely that they are not going to. Oh, good, 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 good. You're in superpages.com. Somebody in your company had the foresight to go and fill out a profile there. It's just like uh, the Google business profile, just like I was telling you before. Dex knows also uh, a, another uh, uh, directory uh, for, for Dex. Uh, now, uh, the next thing uh, I'm going to show you is how many they have. Uh, your competitor here has 262 referring domains. Um, and the backlinks is a really high number, which is is okay. But this one looks like it has a lot of spammy backlinks, which actually counts against you. This number here should not be much more than double or triple this number. So you have an opportunity to really slip in here and do a much better job. Here are their referring domains. I'm going to show you what they are. Um, oh, that's you again. Sorry. There we go. Uh, and some of them are, look at that, uh, yellowpages.com, expertise.com. A lot of people think, oh, I can't get on these sites, but 
They're as simple as filling out a, 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 a profile like the Google business profile I was telling you about. Here's expertise.com. Here's how difficult it is to get a profile on that site. Oh. Boom, right here. Get listed. That's how difficult it is. You click that and fill out a profile. And uh, But now there are many more of these to fill out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Yellowpages.com, uh, porch.com, uh, bird eye, this old house, uh, chamber of commerce, uh, on and on and on. Now you want any of these sites here that are rated 70 and above. This is the domain rating. It shows the strength of a domain's backlink profile compared to the others in their database. Now this backlink profile means that they have a lot of sites that refer to them. Whereas your competitor had, uh, uh, referring domains of 262, that gave them a domain rating of 29. Now, these sites here have uh, a 70, 80, 90. And those are the kind of sites that you want to be on. Here's the purpose. The purpose is that Google doesn't have the time to vet the site themselves. So they figure that if enough uh, uh, other websites have a link to it, then that must make it uh, interesting enough that people want to go to it. Why refer to it otherwise? So the more referrals to your site, the better for you. Here's what it all comes down to, though. Switching gears. This was your traffic last month and the month before. Zero. You had no visitors to your site. Not one. That is not good, considering how much you paid for this thing and how much expectation you had that this was going to be helpful to you. Um, and here's what your competitor had. They had 733 uh, visitors last month. Now, uh, you know, I don't know how many of these customers, what the percentage is of the customers that uh, were uh, gained from uh, visitors, you know, visitors to customers. I don't know. Maybe it's just 1%. I have no idea what that number is. But at 1%, that is still... <laughs> That is still a lot more than zero, zero. And that's what I'm getting at. These folks are responsible for 96% of your business. And if nobody is finding you, it's because of where you are in the site. Now, uh, you are here. And uh, as you can see, even being here does not save you from having zero. A lot of people don't really understand what this map pack is. So they're sort of dubious about it. They think it's like something people paid to be on or something like that. So people mostly rely on the organic searches. Now I am gonna do something. I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna look for Nuovo Kitchen and Bath. And uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I want you to think about your own Google behavior and and, and kind of see if, if uh, you know, like when you're looking for something on Google and you type it into the box and then you start scrolling, how far down do you scroll before you say to yourself, you know what, I probably have scrolled far enough. I mean, I don't want to necessarily get to the bottom because then those results start getting kind of iffy at best. So um, I am just going to. I am just going to stop scrolling and, uh, you know, I'll look at what I find here. Something catches my eye and then I'll look from here on up what I've already scrolled past. Now, I guess my question to you is, would you have scrolled this far? Would you have scrolled this far to find a kitchen and bath? Uh, and if the answer is probably not, then let's change that for you. Uh, I'm going to uh, summarize. One, uh, Google Business Profile, make sure that it is completely filled out. Ensure that you are going to remain in this spot at the very least because you can be both here and here. Number two, more and better keywords. Number three, more and better backlinks. Now, uh, I want to just thank you for sticking with me. Uh, I know it's been a little bit of a long video, but I appreciate your time. I know that Eric's going to be calling you back to get your uh, feedback on this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.